Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining today, Steve. It's all about the Packers. Thank you for finding us. If you found us, you must like football helmets. <laughs> yes, we are the place to go if you are into football helmets. Yeah. Period. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, but please like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you like this type of video or you just like learning about football helmets in general because that's all we really talk about. Steve. You got it, man. So today we have a customer build. All of this came in and we're like, you know what? We can build this, take it up a notch because we really appreciate when we when somebody kind of puts together some of these cooler things. And he's kind of, uh, this is going to who, uh, Kevin? Kevin in Colorado. Kevin in Colorado. Uh, thank you, Kevin. We happen to have some of these 3D bumpers for the Packers mm -hmm. that we're going to be putting on here. Um, he did not buy these, or, or Kevin did not buy these, but we're going to go ahead and throw them on here anyway. And I don't know, Steve, let's just jump right into this. If this is your first time here, uh, this is kind of what we do. We build helmets. We show you how easy it is to do to add all these pieces together. Of course, when you buy them from Green Grid Iron, we will build them for you. So if you don't want it built, say you want to, I don't know, build one with your kid. Yep. And then um, leave a note and say, please don't assemble it. Otherwise, we take care of it all for free. Yes. If you don't have a kid, I guess you could build it with your dog. <laughs> or your, your cat. Yeah. Or, yeah. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to tear off all the pieces that are not going to be living on this thing long term. And let's see, I'm trying to loosen some of this stuff up so it's a little easier. But it is amazing, Steve, a lot of people don't realize just how easy it is to kind of get in there and swap all this stuff out. My father worked as an engineer at a radio station, a radio station which means we had a lot of electronics around the house and I was really good about taking them all apart. <laughs> Micro the, the really expensive microphones and speakers and boards. And... Didn't matter what it was. Oh, I was man. taking it apart and then I tried I... to figure out how to put it back together and I get the, the screaming from, you know, rooms yep. away of what, why doesn't such and such work right? All right, so we got a dark green or forest green, I guess, chin strap going on here. This is the Riddell hard cup version and a lot we, we go through a lot of these chin straps because everyone wants to color coordinate and and i think that hell i would do dude i bet you we go through more of these different colored chin straps for collectibles than the people actually wearing them to play with probably yeah that's okay <laughs> yeah because we build all the collectibles that come through and man it's cool having this big rainbow chin straps that we got there's like what a dozen colors yeah, I, so. 14, yeah, counting black and white. So. And then you got a couple of different, two or three different sizes. I think it's small, medium, large. We're showing off our Alabama helmets back there. Yes, we like to play and upgrade with helmets, but of course we sell them too. So we might be one of the few places you can find the real licensed 18s. So national championships, man. Yeah, yeah. we just swapped out all the 18s, 17s for 18. That's right. Yeah, we, the only thing 17 left, we have our mini. wear 3D bumpers. We made these as samples. We sent them up. They're mulling it over. Uh, I'm going to put a chrome US flag. I'm just going to put it right over the existing flag that's on the back of the helmet. And I've got our built by green gridiron. I'm not going to put that on here though. So typically we would put it like right here, but we're just going to throw this in the box. And Kevin, if you want to put it on there, you can. Exactly. Okay, so let's now do the front. Same deal on the front. We're going to put the 3D bumper right here. Now it's all about the face mask and the visor. I've been a somewhat Aaron Rodgers fan and you know, you got to love the Packers. I don't like them. No, I know you don't, Mr. Lions fan. But I got to say, man, what are we thinking? Are we thinking Packers are going to take it or is Tom Brady just going to be too much for them? I'm it pains me to say that I think the Packers are going to win, so I'm not going to say it. Yeah. I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going for the Bucks on this one. Well, the, you know, the first time they played in the season, 
the Bucks kind of rolled over them and it's hard to beat a team twice. So the Packers really might have an advantage here, but I, I don't know if I even want to get into it, but what do you guys think out <laughs> yeah. there? Leave your comments below of who you think is going to win and why. I know that anybody who has an opinion is going to be passionate about it. Yeah, let us hear it. Let us hear it. Kevin actually ordered the medium green unbranded visor clips from Under Armour, but I am making the executive decision, Steve, so I have changed it, and this is actually the dark green or the Jets green. I'm sure he will not be upset by that because no. it is a really good match. And the Jets, well, fun fact, Steve, the Jets and the Packers wear the same color that we call Jets green. I mean, that looks nice already. It, it really, really does. Yeah. Missing, missing a helmet. Though. Yeah, I think it would be great if more teams color coordinated their clips. Do you have a handful like the uh, Redskins wear yellow clips? The black face mask hardware on this really sets it off. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> All right, Steve. Wow. There we have it. I need my little. Excellent. All right, Steve. You want to start, put this on? Uh, Kevin won't mind. Kevin. All right. Come there on. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah, that's nice. Dude, the tinted visor is sick. That's the way to go. Yep. Do my little right here, and you're not so seeing in there. In addition to the helmet, Kevin gets one of these guys. A helmet hanger. So you can just mount this to the wall like this. Plop the helmet right on it. Yep. Looks real nice on the wall, just like all the ones on the back here. So let's see if I can remember everything we put on this helmet, Steve. So we got the Riddell Speed Flex collectible Green Bay Packers helmet. This is an authentic. Everything in it is, is, is about as legit as you can get. We got a um, new dark green hard cup chin strap, which is the cam lock version. So you got to make sure if you're buying a speed flex and you want to upgrade the chin strap, you got to get the cam lock. We've got the SF 2EG HD face mask right here, which is probably one of my favorites. See you. A hundred percent. Love the HD. We've got the unbranded uh, visor clips. We've got the Shock Zero G visor in Smoke 40, which I think looks fantastic. I can't really tell. It looks awesome. We didn't talk about it much, but the paint job on this Packers helmet is nice. Like, nice, nice. Filled with flake. It's the real deal. Yeah, you know, almost all the NFL teams, their paint jobs have a little bit of flake in the paint. So even if, if you're looking at the Kansas City Chiefs or even the Packers, from a distance, it just looks like yellow or red yeah. or blue. No. The furthest thing from it. When you're under the lights, you're on TV all the time, they all put flake in, in there, and I think it really steps it up a notch yeah. over the just the molded colors, right? It really does. And thank you so much, Kevin, for your purchase, and for everybody for watching. All the parts used in this helmet will be in the description of this video. Yes, so again, like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers. Go Packers.